hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel this is me utsav so in today's video i'm going to show you guys how to do this very simple and easy glam makeup so if you don't have that much time to do your makeup but at the same time you want to do a very glam makeup then this video is for you so without wasting any time let's get started So I did her eyebrows off camera, I didn't do that much, I just brushed her eyebrow with the help of a Pierce transparent soap and I filled her eyebrow a little bit with the help of a yo-yo soap brow pencil and now I'm cleaning her eyebrows using a flat concealer brush and Makeup Forever matte velvet foundation and I'm also applying that foundation all over her eyelid to create a really nice base for eyeshadow. A lot of people think that they can only use concealer on their eyelid which is so not true you can use foundation concealer whatever you want whatever you have you just need to create a base for eyeshadow and that's it that's all what matters after using a flat concealer brush to apply concealer on her eyelid now i'm using a blending brush to make sure that concealer is perfectly blended on her eyelid because if a foundation or concealer is not blended on your eyelid properly your eyeshadow won't blend properly your eyeshadow will look patchy so make sure that whatever you apply on your eyelid it is perfectly blended now i'm taking this really light matte shade from rose in the air palette in a flat blending brush to set the foundation on her eyelid so that the eyeshadow that i will apply on her eyelid will blend really smoothly you don't have to set the concealer or foundation on your eyelid but if you do your eyeshadow will blend really easily now i'm taking this really light cool tone transition shade in a blending brush and i am applying all over her eyelid and i'm going up to her brow bone and i'm making sure that i'm not applying that much product because i want this eye makeup to be very soft and very simple and always blend your eyeshadow in back and forth and circular motion because it just distributes eyeshadow all over your eyelid really evenly it blends out your eyeshadow really nicely so always use back and forth and circular motion to blend your eyeshadow and i'm also winging out this shade to create that cat eye effect in a really simple way now i'm taking this dark cool tone shade in a small brush and i'm smudging it in her lash line and winging out towards her temple and the reason why i am winging out this shade and not blending all over her eyelid is because i want to create an illusion of winged eyeliner with the help of this really dark cool tone shade Now I'm taking this lavender shade in a flat brush and I'm packing that shade on inner part of her eyelid and now I'm done with her eye makeup, it's time to move to base makeup. First I'm applying Nivea cream all over her face and her neck with the help of a brush. So if your foundation, if your foundation looks really cakey, it doesn't blend out evenly, then try this Nivea cream. It helps your foundation to blend so easily and it gives very like dewy finish. So I really love using this moisturizer. And to protect her skin from any kind of sun damage, I am applying this Plum Goodness Green Tea Sunscreen. It has SPF 35 in it and I am applying this sunscreen all over her face and her neck with the help of the same brush that I used for applying moisturizer. Today for foundation, I am using this Maybelline Dewy Plus Smooth Foundation which is specially made for like dry skin. So if you're someone who loves very lightweight foundation, if you don't like that much coverage, if you love using 
foundation on daily basis then this foundation is for you they have in both dewy and matte finish depending on your skin type you can use whatever works for you and your skin type and this foundation blends out so easily you can literally use your hands you don't need your like beauty blender you don't need beauty blender or a brush to blend this foundation i love using a really big brush like this like the one that i'm using right now because it gives such a nice airbrushed finish so if you have really dry skin and if your foundation looks really cakey then try this maybelline fit me dewy plus smooth foundation this works amazingly this is my favorite foundation it works amazingly on literally like any skin type it it says that it gives really dewy finish but you can set it with powder and it works amazingly on literally any skin type that's why i really love this foundation after blending out the foundation all over her face and her neck now it's time to move to concealer for concealer i'm using this jordana foundation plus concealer and i am applying this concealer with the help of a flat dense brush and i am applying this concealer under her eye, below her lips, center part of her forehead, bridge of her nose, her upper lips area and little bit in her chin. And to blend out the concealer, I'm using a damp beauty blender and if you want your makeup to last for a really long time, then just wet your beauty blender with a setting spray and blend out your foundation and concealer and your base won't crack, it will last for a really long time. And while blending out your concealer, always make sure that you are not spreading your concealer all over your face because i see a lot of people they like spread their concealer all over their face while blending it out always blend your concealer contour and blush exactly where you applied it now it's time to set the base i'm using this technique cosmetics soft focus transparent powder this powder doesn't leave any kind of white cast and always make sure that your foundation and concealer is perfectly blended before you apply any kind of powder product and i am applying this powder with the help of a blending brush and never blend your powder on top of your foundation in circular motion because i see a lot of people doing that just take a little bit powder in a blending brush or a beauty blender and press it in it will help your makeup to last for a really long time like trust me it will change your makeup game just press it in and it will lock your makeup your makeup will not move here and there at all so just try that and i'm applying this powder everywhere where we normally don't apply a blush and contour after setting the base now it's time to give some structure to her face and bring back all that natural color and warmth that went away after applying foundation and concealer i'm using this techni cosmetics matte mega bronzer palette which you can easily get from gv app you get four shades you get four shades for 750 rupees I am applying this really light warm shade in her forehead near her hairline, little bit in her high points of her cheekbone, little bit in her jawline. I like to apply bronzer slightly above than actual jawline because it makes your jawline look really sharp. For nose, I am using a smaller blending brush and I am applying the same shade that I applied on her face. I am only applying bronzer in both sides of her nose, not below the tip of her nose because I want to make her nose look really thin and really long. So I am not applying bronzer below the tip of her nose. Now I am applying this really stunning blush from Rimmel London Kate Moss palette and I am applying this blush with the help of the same angled brush that I used for bronzer. I am applying good amount of blush on high points of her cheekbone and little bit in bridge of her nose and little bit in her chin. Now I am taking this Techni Cosmetics Soft Focus Transparent Powder in a beauty blender and I am applying it under her cheekbone, under her eyes, both sides of her nose, little bit in her chin and also in center part of her forehead, 
this will give more structure to her face and make her face look really snatched and after letting that powder sit on her face for 15 minutes now i'm removing it all with the help of a really big blending brush now it's time to add some glow and i'm using this Technique Cosmetics Mega Glow Highlighter Palette and I'm mixing these two shades and I'm applying it with the help of a really thin blending brush on high points of her face. If you will apply highlighter exactly where I'm applying right now, it will give you a very quick facelift. And if you want to make your nose look really thin and long, then this is what you need to do. Apply a little bit highlighter on bridge of your nose, then apply a little bit, make a small dot on tip of your nose and drag it below the tip of your nose. It will make your nose look really pointy and long. And I'm also applying a little bit highlighter around her collarbone and a little bit around chest area. All the makeup products that I used in this video are listed down in description. So if you want to you know, know what I used in what shade, then everything is listed down on description. To outline her lips, I'm using Pharmacy Lip Liner in shade 227 and in her center part of her lips, I'm using Lassia Liquid Lipstick in shade 05 and on top of that, I'm applying this Yo Yo Soul Lip Gloss. This is a really bright pink lip gloss. I'm applying it on center part of her lips. For mascara, I'm using this Technique Cosmetics Mega Lash Mascara. I'm applying it with the help of a disposable spoon and I applied some really natural looking fake lashes off camera and finally it's time for setting spray I'm using this wet and wild photo focus setting spray and I'm spraying good amount of setting spray all over her face and her neck and that's it for today's video guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if it did then don't forget to subscribe to my channel like this video share with your friends and comment down something and thanks for watching guys